Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and today we are going to do something a bit different and yet still extremely relevant and important to what we normally do on this channel and that is talk about net neutrality. First of all, what is net neutrality and how does it affect each and every one of us? At its most simple, net neutrality is the idea that all data is equal and therefore must be treated equally. That means that reading an email, shopping for clothes, playing a game online with your friends, or streaming a video, whatever you are doing online gets treated equally and ISPs, internet service providers, can't pick and choose which sites get throttled. For example, this stops them from slowing down the delivery of a video because it comes from a service that may compete with one of their own services. And why is this important? Well, at their core, ISPs are nothing but access to the internet. You pay for a connection at a certain speed, and that should be the end of it. What you do with that connection should be up to you. Data is data. A gigabyte of video doesn't affect their network any differently than a gigabyte of game traffic or a gigabyte of anything else. In 2015, we won a major victory for net neutrality. The FCC reclassified ISPs as Title II, which put them in the same category as water and electricity, and essentially made them a public utility, allowing the FCC to strongly regulate rates and enforce net neutrality more effectively, something that they couldn't previously do. Now, under the lead of a new chairman, the FCC is trying to undo that change, saying that it's a fix that wasn't needed, that ISPs won't charge more for certain types of data, or set different speed limits based on what sites it's coming from. The new chairman says that ISPs weren't doing this before Title II, so it's not necessary. The thing is, they were doing it. The biggest example of which came in 2014 when Comcast forced Netflix to pay them so that Comcast would stop throttling Netflix traffic going to Comcast's customers, claiming the traffic was an undue burden on their infrastructure. The thing is, Comcast customers had already paid for that bandwidth, and by forcing Netflix to also pay to stop Comcast from throttling their data meant that Comcast was getting paid twice for the same bandwidth. In my personal opinion, this amounts to nothing more or less than extortion. And the reclassification to Title II stops this type of behavior. The issue goes further than speed though. Net neutrality stops ISPs from censoring the internet, only letting you have access to certain sites or making you pay more to access those sites. Does this concept sound familiar to you? It should. It's what the cable TV industry is built on. Do you fancy the idea of a basic internet package? You get access to these wonderful sites, but wait, you can upgrade. Want access to search engines? Just $5 more a month. Or maybe your ISP is AT&T, but you want to use a service owned by one of their competitors. Well, too bad, because AT&T has decided you can't access that. Without net neutrality, ISPs could censor whatever they wanted, charge you more to access certain content, or outright block you from doing so. So, what can you do? You can contact the FCC and let them know you support Title II classification of ISPs and strong net neutrality. They are currently taking comments on the upcoming vote. The deadline is July 17th. It's easy to do, Simply go to battleforthenet.com, there's a link in the description, and you will be able to quickly and easily leave a comment for the FCC. Also in the description, I will have links to sources for everything I've talked about in this video, as well as a link to a video in which John Oliver goes into much more detail on what this is all about, and does it much more entertainingly than I have. Or you can also click the pop-up in the upper right-hand corner of the video or on the card at the very end of this video if you would prefer. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.